Welcome to another episode of On the Trail. Today, we'll be tackling the Logandale Trail System just north of Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm your host, Austin Stobaugh with Carbon Off-Road, and I'm joined today with my fiance, Courtney Shipper, and Jeremy Ricks from Disciple Off-Road. When thinking of Las Vegas, great off-roading is probably not the first thought that comes to mind. But today we're going to show you how to get out of the city and enjoy some of the great trails that Southern Nevada has to offer. We're here in the Logandale Trail System, adjacent to Valley of Fire State Park, just about an hour north of Las Vegas. We've never been out here before, but we heard from you, the viewers, that we should definitely come check this place out. Because we've never been to the Logandale area, we're not exactly sure what kind of obstacles we're going to see today, but we brought three pretty capable rigs that have some good features that I think are gonna allow us to tackle just about anything we see. I personally brought my 2009 four-door Jeep JK. It's locked front and rear, has some big crazy suspension, pretty wide, and it's got some 40-inch nittos. I'm pretty confident that we can get through the trail today. Uh, Courtney, what did you bring? Today I brought my 2002 Stretch TJ. Um, I'm locked front and rear. I've got body armor, skid plates. I'm running 37 inch trail grapplers. So I'm pretty much ready to tackle anything. The only thing that I have on these guys, is I'm, I, I drive stick shifts. So um, when it comes to some challenging, trickier areas, I really have to put my mind into it. Whereas these guys just have to put their foot into it. And uh, Jeremy, what did you bring out today? I got my 2014 Jeep JK uh, four-door. We're gonna be on uh, Evo Bolton coilover kit with some PSC steering to help us push these 37-inch needle trail grapplers. So I'll hopefully use our rock sliders today for some protection. So I have a feeling we're gonna be hitting some pretty big obstacles. And uh, no working lockers on yours? No working lockers. So I have a feeling I'm gonna be uh, using my winch a little <laughs> bit today, so. We'll see, hopefully not, but we got them if we need them. If you've seen any episode of On the Trail, you know we have an essential packing list. We make sure to bring anytime we go off-road. Food, water, and sunscreen are the bare minimum you need when going out in the desert. Courtney, what else do you think people should bring out with them today? Well, first off, it's pretty cold out here today. It's in the mid 30s. I, I could say we're all freezing right now. Um, so depending on what time of the year you guys decide to come out and enjoy these trails, just make sure you're dressed accordingly. You've got the proper footwear on um, and you're prepared for what's ahead. Jeremy, is there anything else you think we should definitely have with us today? Yeah, with me not having any working lockers, there's a good chance I'm gonna be doing some recovery today. So it's always important to have good recovery gear with you, a winch, uh, soft shackles, tree savers, just basic recovery gear. And it's also important to make sure your gear is working properly before going out off-roading and kind of get familiar with this so you're not having to learn for the first time when you're in a sticky situation right. and having to recover. Uh, it's always important to also keep a bag of your basic tools with you so you can make any kind of repairs on the trail since we are uh, out in the middle of nowhere and there's a good chance of breaking. The first trails we'll be hitting today are actually two separate trails, but we'll be running them together. That's Bronco Falls and Shedder Trail. Those are known to be the two hardest trails out here in the Logandale area with some pretty challenging obstacles that I'm pretty excited for us to go conquer. We've never been here, so this is all new to us, and we're ready to see what this is all about. How do you guys feel? I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Ready to wheel it? Let's go. Let's do it. A fun little downhill here. Uh, we can kind of just pick and choose. I think maybe that middle one looks pretty fun as it zigzags through. This is Shedder Trail, but this area is called Shedder Bowl. We're gonna jump in the Jeeps, come down this uh, entrance, drop into the bowl, and I think we're gonna take this uh, chute here and meander our way back up to this ridge line and out, and then we continue back on to Bronco Falls. You haven't really had to wheel too, too much without lockers, right? No. So just hold the brake and power through it, and it'll help drag that open lockers right now to help try and give you as much traction as possible. I'll just kind of stage up there, and I'll run down and just kind of help spot you, make sure uh, tire's in the right spot. Yeah, 
Uh, that that shock's leaking, which is not not ideal. Problem is if it, if it leaks out, that's only that holds the housing from spinning. So if it leaks out, it it gets catastrophic quick. Well, I think at minimum, let's at least get up to the top here where it's flat, mm -hmm. and I can decide. I'd be concerned it's just going to keep getting worse. It's, it's definitely not going to fix itself. Best solution would be to park it, but um, obviously that doesn't make well for our plans for today. So I need to see why. I don't know why it's leaking through the Schrader to begin with. That's what I need to find out is if the Schrader's bad, we could possibly let some pressure out. But if I take the Schrader out, then there's nothing holding the pressure in. It will just blow out whatever is in there. The only way to possibly do it would be to do it off the Jeep so there's no like external pressure trying to collapse the shock. And then maybe if I were to depressurize it, I could swap the Schrader out and fill it with, uh, I think CO2 works maybe. Let's get, up, let's get up to the top where it's flat. And then uh, worst case is we can just take those two bolts out and try it off the vehicle. And if it doesn't work, then it's going on the trailer. Sucky sucky. When I have adjustable wrenches in the work. Uh, 24. Uh oh, I need that. Sorry. See if that takes care of it. This Jeep is like a fresh build. It's only been done for maybe a month, month and a half. And we've had some issues before in the past, so a little concerned, you know, taking it on the trail further and potentially having more issues and not being able, we're in a good spot right now, so we could take it back to the trailer right now and not have any issues. So I'm gonna leave that call up to Austin. He can make that decision and we'll go from there. Let's see what it does. Watch yourself in case it pops oil out. Yeah. Took it. It's not leaking currently. As I do it again. Yeah, I mean, so we're we're to the point where I think we go load it up on a rock, see if that's going to hold. If it does, I think we just continue. If it looks at all odd, uh, then. We call it now, toss it on the trailer, and jump in with those two and keep it up. 95% chance it's gonna hold pressure. We, we have no idea how much oil's in those. That could have been all the oil. That could have been every <laughs> last drop of oil in that shock. So we're gonna back it up and just put um, pressure on the rear driver. Just put some, I've traveled to try to compress that shock. So once you start compressing that shock, we'll know right away if it's gonna be leaking. Other way. So far, so good. It sucked it down. It compressed it. I mean, maybe like an inch. Yeah. I mean, I'm not seeing anything come out. Good. She's all now. No. The best case scenario is it completely holds for today. We get it back on the trailer this afternoon and I fix it down the road. Cool. Let's give it a go. Jeremy, just uh, if you see some big explosion of oil, just let me know. <laughs> Well, we just wrapped up lunch here. 
We're currently on Shedder Trail. Uh, this morning was a little more eventful than we planned. We uh, quickly noticed that there was a little issue dropping into Shedder Bowl in the rear of my Jeep. I have these air shocks that kind of hold the rear housing from twisting on that trailing arm setup. And uh, it was leaking some oil, so we decided to pull over for a minute, reassess and, and do a little trail repair. It's holding up right now, but we are deviating from our original plan. We're actually gonna bypass Bronco Falls. We took a look at that first obstacle, and it's just a little bit too challenging for us today with two wounded Jeeps. Uh, we, we assessed the situation and we decided just a little bit too much for us to try and tackle today. So know your limits and don't be afraid to adjust your plan. We had a B, plan B and that plan B is rock bottom. So we're gonna finish up Shedder Trail, blast over the starter rock bottom, which is rated a seven, uh, compared to Bronco Falls, which was rated an eight. We should have a ton of fun over there. So Jeremy, with your Jeep, you know, limping right now with no lockers, how is it doing right now on these trails? You know, it's, it's making me work a little harder. I'm having to like pay attention to my lines a bit more, or take different lines than you are obviously on 40. So I'm just really paying attention to where I'm going and uh, just taking my time. So, but I gotta say this trail is really awesome. It's a really cool terrain here. Uh, a lot of big rocks. Uh, it's a really fun place to wheel. When we tell you guys to bring tools and recovery gear, it's not just to make you carry extra weight. This is for real life experiences. When you're modifying your vehicle, uh, whether it's bumpers or drivetrain to suspension, uh, all of those parts can fail. And that's why you wanna have those tools and recovery gear with you. Trail fixes and trail repairs can happen, but if you bring those tools and recovery gear, you'll be well suited to tackle them and be back on the trail like we are. We're gonna finish up Shedder Trail here and head over to Rock Bottom, which is rated a seven. Should be a blast and we should end on a really great trail and uh, be able to kind of recover from this uh, little setback here by missing Bronco Falls. So I think we're all excited to go wheel some more and uh, I mean, I'm ready to go. And then once the front end's floating, go straight and get it past it. The problem though, your sidewall, if you slip off that, we're gonna go right into that hole. Look at all those tire marks up there. Oh yeah. If you stayed high on that wall, you'd, you'd yeah, because it's a V-notch, is what they called it. Yeah. So try and float this stuff rather than drive through it. Yeah. We have some fun. I'm excited for this one actually. It's a, it's a good challenge. I want to do something like this. So um, Austin's gonna go up first. That way, worst case scenario, we have a, a winch point or, you know, to a point for me, so either way, we're gonna give it a shot and see how it goes. Straighten out a little. Yeah, straight. Come on. Get back up just a little bit. Yeah, straight. Try it. Passenger, passenger. Just like that. Crest. Turn into it a little. Back into it, back into it. Yep. Stay. Just like that. A little more driver, just right there. So if it starts ripping it, turn passenger. Back up just a little. Okay. Turn in. There it is. Turn into it. Whoa. I mean, it is just like you have the whole sidewall balled up on this side. Like it's so grippy, it won't fall down. If you move at all, that passenger rear that's got the sidewall balled yeah. up will fall down and straighten the whole thing out. Uh, no, hey, put it in reverse and just let it settle for a second. Okay, go go like an inch or two back. Right there. Okay, now go driver into that wall. Really slow though, because it might pick the tire back up. Hard passenger, if you can. Just to try and get that front end up on that wall, okay? Jesus, back up a little bit. Nice and slow, Jeremy. 
Just stay driver. Slow. Okay, you missed that ledge now. You can straighten out. <laughs> that was so awesome. Just inch forward. If it goes more, then throw it to neutral. Yeah. Keep pressure against that wall, Jeremy. Forward. Driver. Nope, nope. Passenger. Just like that. Beautiful. Nice and easy. You're good. Right now. Like, it's going to come down. It's going to be much easier. You're going to level out. Woo! So might as well go through, right? I think me and Courtney are definitely gonna assess the other side, the other line. Um, we thought this might be the best line, but um, seeing how the Ford driver is such a hard time picking up on that, especially with you know lockers, that uh, we might try that other line. So you're good. Just watch that door. Yeah. There you go. Roll it up. Roll it up. Not often where you just get to see beautiful scenery and get to wheel through it. You want you want smiles on faces. That's what we're shooting for. We're here at the end of Rock Bottom Trail where it dumps out in the sand dunes here in Logandale. Beautiful, beautiful area. Rock Bottom was an absolute blast. Really challenging obstacles and just overall great scenery. I'm really happy we ended up here. Uh, bypassing Bronco Falls today. Honestly, I hit my hard top back there. A uh, really good tight trail. I had a blast. Jeremy, what was your favorite part for today? You know, the whole day was great, but I think uh, rock bottom by far was a blast. You know, there's some technical uh, obstacles to go through. Really kind of put our Jeeps to the test, especially not having working lockers. Really had to I mean, have some patience and really rely on some spotters, but it was a great day. I had a blast on the trail today. It was, it was awesome. Courtney, what was your favorite part? Just how technical the trail was. It was like back-to-back -back obstacles and super tight uh, 
canyons, which was super cool in my opinion. Um, also, I totally underestimated. I did not think your Jeep was gonna make it this far. I totally thought it was down for the count, so that was pretty awesome in my opinion. The Logan Dale trails were absolutely amazing, action-packed from start to finish with tons of challenging obstacles. We needed a really good team and some good spotters today to make sure we could get through with some limping Jeeps, and we did it. You guys, thank you so much. Thank you, Courtney, and thank you, Jeremy, for coming out and making sure we got this done. And I wanna thank Nitto Tire and Driving Line for the opportunity to, to bring us out here. And I wanna thank you, the viewers. You guys are the ones that dropped the suggestion for Logandale, so please keep those suggestions coming, and don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the trail.